Welcome back to this series on Prowler for AWS Security. In this second video, we would be looking at how to set up Prowler and how to do a default scan of our AWS account. So we are going to cover three things in this. One is setting up and installing Prowler. Second is setting up AWS credentials that allow Prowler to go ahead and scan AWS account. And the third one is do a demonstration of Prowler scan. Setting up Prowler. When it comes to installation of Prowler, it is pretty straightforward. If you're on Linux or Windows, you can just use pip utility, the Python installer utility to go ahead and just do pip install Prowler. It goes ahead and installs the binary for you. But if you're on Mac, you can use brew, brew install Prowler. And that's it. So Prowler would be installed on your system and you could start using it. To check Prowler is correctly installed or not, you can just uh, execute this command prowler v which should print out the version something like this so let's quickly go ahead and try to install prowler i'm on a mac so i'd be using brew instead if you're on windows or linux just use pip let me go ahead and do brew install prowler so i already have this installed so let me just go ahead and check its version so I'm running Prowler 4.3.5, which is the latest version at the time of recording this video. Prowler comes up with a huge set of options that you can select from. So if you want to know more about a particular option, just uh, see Prowler hyphen H or Prowler, the particular provider hyphen H. In this case, let me just do Prowler hyphen H. So the default one, it shows all the providers it has, AWS, Azure, GCP, and Kubernetes. And finally, the other component is dashboard. So it allows you to go ahead and visualize the findings. So we'll be covering our Prowler dashboard in a later video. But for now, let's say we want to focus just on AWS. Let's go ahead and type Prowler AWS hyphen H. There are lots of options. As you can see here, it has check, checks, compliance frameworks, output files, output directories. So there are quite a few options. So this would be handy whenever you're trying to do anything with Prowler. Let's clear it for now and get back to presentation. Now, what we did right now is just go ahead and install Prowler. Prowler as a tool can execute on your machine, but it can't access AWS. For Prowler to access AWS, it needs some sort of credentials. That is where AWS CLI comes into picture. So Prowler does not take care of the authentication by itself. Rather, it uses the credentials that are configured with AWS CLI on your local system to communicate with AWS. So it looks something like this. Let's say you have installed Prowler, which we did just now. And Prowler uses the credentials that we configure with AWS CLI that authenticates with AWS. So just Prowler acts as a client that's authenticating with AWS on behalf of you. Once it gets back the response, it does its own custom logic on top of the response and sees if it is compliant or if it is secure or insecure. A common issue that you might face with Prowler is maybe Prowler is not working. It's not able to fetch all the resources on your AWS account. The simple debugging step would be just check the credentials. If your credentials is not able to access a particular resource, even Prowler cannot access it. Just ensure that the credentials that you have configured with your local system has access to all the resources, the read-only and list-only access. To get the best out of Prowler Scan, you need three policies attached with your user. One is the managed security audit. Second is the managed view-only access. And the third one is a custom policy that we need to create ourselves and attach it to the user. And one thing that I must say here is Prowler also supports multiple AWS profiles. So you can just say which AWS profile to use for the scan. So if you have multiple accounts or multiple users having different permission levels, you can just set Prowler to use a particular AWS profile while scanning. So let's quickly go ahead and set up our Prowler IAM user. I've already logged into my AWS account. I'd just go to IAM, click on users. Let me create another user specific to Prowler. Let me just say it as Prowler. 
And one thing to note here is I'm just creating a problem to user. I highly recommend using IEM rules instead of IEM users. Just because this is a demo, I'm just creating a user. Let me click next. Attach policies directly. So we need security audit policy. And view only access. So I've selected two policies. Click on next and create the user. So once this is created, let's create the access keys. Create access keys. Okay, the access keys are created. Let's go ahead and configure it on our local system. I don't want to use my default AWS profile. Let me use a different one. Let's say AWS configure. And I want the profile name to be Prowler Demo. Before we go ahead and initiate a Prowler scan, there is one thing that we missed. That is, we need to also add a custom policy. Let's say continue. In the permissions section, create an inline policy. You can directly go to Prowler source code and you will find a file called Prowler additions policy under the permissions directory. Go ahead, copy the file. Come back to IEM and just paste it. So it grants some additional permissions along with security audit and view only access. Go ahead, click next. Let's just say Prowler additional policies. Now the Prowler IEM user contains all the necessary permissions for Prowler to work. Let's get back to the terminal. We have already configured Prowler demo. Let me just execute Prowler AWS and profile is Prowler demo. As you can see here, Prowler scan has started. It's using Prowler demo AWS profile and the identity that it's using to authenticate with AWS is Prowler, the user that we created just now. So by default, Prowler does all the scans across all the enabled regions for a particular AWS account. Right now, Prowler is doing 383 checks across all the 17 enabled regions. So it will take quite some time. Let me pause this video for now and continue it after it's done. The scan is now completed. Let's go ahead and check the results. So we can see that it has scanned a lot of services in this particular AWS account. By default, it has created three files for us after the scan. So one is OCSF JSON file, next is CSV, and the other one is HTML. And then it has given a compliance status of almost all the frameworks that it supports. AWS account security onboarding framework, CIS, all the versions 1.4, 1.5 till 3.0. It has pretty much done all the checks that it has and then has given us a report. And it has taken around seven minutes for an account that just contains handful of resources. Let's get back to the presentation. What we did just now is we initiated an AWS scan using Prowler. We could have done Prowler AWS. This command would have just taken the default profile of AWS CLI and then used it to scan the AWS account. But what we did instead was we configured a new AWS profile and then used this particular command to scan it. Now, a lot of times you might be restricted to a particular region as a business. Maybe all your infrastructure is on US East 1 or any other single region or couple of regions. If you don't want Prowler to scan all the regions, you could just mention the regions that you want to scan. So let's say I want to scan two regions for now. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me use the same command. Prowler, or let me clear this. Let me say region US East 1. So 
so it has started the scan again it would take some time because it's trying to do 383 checks across two regions you can see that regions is just us east one and us west one so that's it in this video if you have any questions with this video feel free to comment it down in the next video we will be diving deep into prowler checks so see you in the next video Thank you.